Okay, here we are, day one of the Homesteader Plow. And my wife, who's about five foot five, uh, and my horses, about 15 to 16 hands, pretty small draft horses. Uh, combined weight, probably 2,600 pounds, so not real huge. Made a few adjustments after a couple of runs here. One of them was that right wheel. Uh, to get that right wheel to run into the furrow, you actually have to move it to the far inward position. And we left the left wheel where it was, that right one moved it to the far inward. And what that did was it dropped it into the furrow so that it rode smoother. Otherwise, it was up on the plowed ground and it was just a mess and it was, it was alternating our depth. So you see how she steps back a step to get it out of the ground? When she steps back, it pulls the dirt load off the plow head and allows her then to get it out of the ground. The other thing I'll point out is that her seat is banging against the plow arm on the top. Not a big deal, but see how that seat bounces off that arm? Doesn't happen when she's in the furrow. Once she drops that thing down and the plow head sucks in, then it's no longer an issue. And I'll show you, see how that seat just comes right away from that plow arm after she buries it in and then it's not an issue. It's just really on the turns that that's an issue. And that also depends on how you've got that front arm set. And right now she's got a pretty shallow setting on it just because we're testing out the plow. So if you have a deeper setting, it wouldn't be an issue.